man's law and God's law, they have different sets of characteristics. We have an impeachable evidence in the Bible to show this kind of divine love. Basically, it covers all the aspects of yeah. human life. Mapagpalang araw at maligayang panunood Pilipinas at sa ating mga kapatiran, mga kaibigan from Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao. Kami po ay nagagalak uh, dahil po sa inyong walang sawang pagtatangkilik ng programang ito. Uh, the Chemistry of Law, Love and Life, ang inyong pong lingkod, Atty. Jun Sumagaysay at ang aking kasama, si Atty. Randall T. Thank you, Atty. Jun. To our friends, Outside the Philippines and joining us online, we welcome you once again to this episode of The Chemistry of Law, Love and Life. Ang ating ngayong pag-uusapan sa episode na ito, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan, ay tungkol naman ito sa parental authority. Okay? Ano po ang parental authority? Ayon po sa isang dalubhasa sa civil code ng pangalan niya si Manresa, Ang sabi niya na ang parental law, this is a mass of rights, duties, and obligations of parents in relation to the person and property of his children until their children reach the age of majority mm -hmm. and even after reaching the age of majority in certain cases. Okay? Ang parental authority na ito, mga kaibigan, this is a natural right of parents which cannot be renounced under the law. Of course, there are some other exceptions na ito po ang ating i-discuss ngayon. Okay? Si Attorney Randall, ito mga kapatid, mamaya magbigay sa atin kung ano ang definition ng parental authority ayon sa Family Code of the Philippines. But before Attorney Randall uh, defines uh, what parental authority is, meron lamang ako mga kaibigan i-share sa inyo isang biblical passage. Okay? Uh, if you have your Bible at hand, I invite you to open with me in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 11, verses 19 to 21. Okay? Mga kapatid, I shall be reading from the New International Version. At ito po ang sinasabi dito. Teach them to your children, talking about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Ang sinasabi dito mga kapatid, teach them to your children. Ito po ang mga batas ng ating Panginoon na mahalin natin siya, mahalin natin ang ating kapwa-tao, mahalin natin ang ating mga magulang, sundin ang kanilang mga sinasabi. Okay? Ano daw ang sinasabi? When you sit at home, when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Okay? Mm -hmm. Verse 20. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates so that your days and the days of your children may be many in the land that the Lord swore to give your forefathers as many as the days that the heavens are above the earth. Mm -hmm. Okay, Attorney Randall. Uh, ito po ang sinasabi sa atin ng Deuteronomy chapter 11 verse mm -hmm. 9. Okay. Ano ang relation ng binasa ko, mga kaibigan, na biblical verse dito sa ating paksa ngayon, parental authority? Okay? Atty. Randell, okay? Uh, what does it mean when we say parental authority? Yes. Uh, Atty. Jun, yung binasa mo yung yeah. text na yan, uh, I noticed, no? May similarity. Okay. Alright? Uh, in fact, I, I would, I, okay. if I read this provision, okay. no? at first glance okay. and uh, hearing that directly from the Bible parang uh, ang basihan dito ay yung Biblia okay so uh -oh. can you can you read uh, uh, verbatim uh, uh, article 209 okay. no? article 209 of the family code again uh, look it up uh, google uh, okay. whatever it's article 209 okay. uh, of the family code it says Pursuant to the natural right and duty of parents yes. over the person and property of their children, parental authority and responsibility shall include the caring of and rearing of such children for civic consciousness, 
and efficiency and the development of their moral, mental, and physical character and well-being. Ang okay. wala lang dito yung spiritual development, yeah, okay. no? Pero uh, more or less, more or less, okay. yung purpose at definition ng parental authority ay nakabase doon okay. sa biblical basis, no? Uh, Attorney Jun, uh, i-emphasize ko lang, yung definition ng batas natin, okay. ng parental authority, ay kaakibat doon yung parental responsibility. Okay. Okay. Uh, parang hindi lang purely authority okay. na it is the parents' rights over the children, okay. kundi may kaakibat na responsibilidad. Oh, okay, okay. Ano ba yung responsibilidad na yan? Okay. Okay? Na ma-develop yung kanilang moral, okay. ha, mental, at saka physical character. At idadagdag na rin natin dito, at ito yung pinaka-importante, yung spiritual okay. nurturing ng okay. mga bata at an early age is very important. It will go a long way when they grow up and uh, you know we can expect at least a, a, a better society pag nagawa natin okay. so nakita natin to to uh, attorney randel ano okay kung ang ang bata okay morally and spiritually developed mm. hindi ba so maka-expect tayo attorney randel na society natin walang crime ano uh, more or less at least yeah. we can we can uh, if not eradicate it no mm. uh, at least we can diminish hmm. the crime incidents no dahil dahil attorney randel kung babasihan natin ito okay how can there be okay violations of republic act 9165 yung mm -hmm. sa mga paggamit at pagsal ng shabu yes okay kung tinuturo sa atin ng ating mga parents ay dito sa bible yes. yan ay masama sa yes. ating kalusugan yes. okay kasi ang education it should uh, start from uh, the from the home paano magkakaroon ng crime of murder or homicide doon mm. attorney randel Tama. kung doon pa lang sa tahanan Tama. okay Tama. develop ng ating moral and spiritual character eh okay. kung matatag na yan eh, kung, matatag kung matatag na yan at an early okay. age okay. at na uh, i think sa tagalog ta na nahubog na yes. ano okay. at the child will never depart from. Yes. Okay. Ito yung sabi ng Bible, train up a child in the way that he should go. Yeah. When he is old, yes. he will never depart from it. Uh, yeah. uh, so, uh, kung ano yung natutunan niya sa bahay, mm -hmm. ay yun din ang dadalhin ng batang yan, yeah, paglaki, niya. paglaki niya, at kung lalabas na siya. Okay. So, uh, kita niyo na, uh, Tor Nirandel, no? Although hindi naman sinasabi dito sa batas, pero makikita natin, sa uh, letters of the law na ito talaga ay biblical. Very, very okay. biblical. Okay. So, ang sinasabi dito, Atty. Randall, okay? uh, the parental authority of the parents cannot be renounced. Again, that is general rule. Okay? Uh, under what circumstances can this parental authority okay, be taken or removed from the persons exercising such authority? Article 210, mga kapatid. Sabi dito, in the case of adoption, okay, okay voluntary adoption, uh, you allow you allow your children or your child, for that matter, to be uh, up uh, to be placed uh, up for uh, adoption. Ayan, mawawala pag may decree of adoption yung korte matatanggal at mawawala din sa inyo yung parental authority. So at uh, the in the earlier episodes, Attorney Jun, napag-usapan okay. natin yun, okay. dapat wala nang panghihimasok, wala nang pakikialam. Okay. So, okay. one adoption. Okay. One adoption yan. Number two, guardianship. Oh, guardianship. Okay, pag may inappoint yung korte mm -hmm. na guardian mm -hmm. over that uh, child, mm -hmm. eh, yung parental authority mo ay eh, mailipat dun sa uh, guardian na yan. Okay. Yung guardian na ngayon ang may authority over the child. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, adoption, guardianship, guardianship. at okay. saka yung Eto, number three, commitment of the child to an entity or institution engaged in child care or in a children's home. Okay. So, ano ba to? Yung mga, yung mga home for the... Uh, Aged? Uh, home for the uh, homeless children. Yung, okay. yung mga ganon. Okay. Uh, may, uh, may mga inabandon okay. na mga bata at uh, dinala sila dun sa... Uh, uh, parang... Sa Somehow mga, similar doon sa ating din-discuss nung earlier, nung earlier episode. Yes. So, kung, kung yung bata inabandon at dinala doon sa isang institution no, na uh, nagbibigay ng alaga at ng care doon sa bata, by implication, yung authority na yan nawawala from the uh, parent 
uh, concerned at yan ay malilipat doon sa institution okay. who is actually which is actually uh, taking care okay. of the child. Okay. Sina sabi rin dito Attorney Randall sa batas natin dito na ang parental authority shall be jointly exercised mm -hmm. okay by the parents okay. Now, uh, hindi naman lingid sa atin kaalaman mga kapatid okay in uh, in the discipline of our children in the discharge of our duties as parents may mga disagreement okay between husband and wife okay now uh, walang problema if both of them are in harmony mm -hmm. okay are in agreement with respect to some issues okay doon sa pamilya mm -hmm. okay now supposing uh, attorney Randell, uh, if there is disagreement okay between the husband and the wife ano po ang sinasabi sa batas na dapat natin sundin when this happens okay uh, siguro may magre-react dito uh, okay. uh, by way of uh, uh, disclaimer. Ha? Ito ang sabi ng batas. Uh, medyo uh, sasabihin ng iba unfair yung okay. batas. Okay. Uh, pero ito yung batas. Eh. Okay. At uh, Attorney June, uh, wala tayong choice kundi okay. sundin yung batas. Okay. So, uh, uh, <laughs> kung, <laughs> baka sabihin nila atin opinion lang. Oh, ito, hindi hindi so, natin uh, opinion so to. At least, at least, uh, at least uh, klaro. No? Oh, klaro sa okay. Article 211, in case of disagreements, Kaninong decision ang mag-prevail? Uh, the decision of the husband. The decision of the husband shall, ito yung gamit, ito yung gamit ng word uh, sa batas, shall prevail. Okay. okay? Unless, ang korte magsasabi na, oh, uh, kung tatakbo si misis doon, at sasabihin, uh, yung decision ni mister ay hindi karapat-dapat at hindi uh, very sound, no? Uh, hindi favorable to the family uh, pwede at kung makita ng korte yan pwede magsabi ang korte na okay uh, hindi pwede yan no? okay. but ang general rule is in case of disagreement okay. the father's decision prevails okay now um, ito yun attorney June eh, yung pag craft ng batas okay. na to nag react yung uh, may mga if we go and read the minutes of the uh, okay. crafting of the uh, bill, no? uh, which eventually became a law. Uh, Nag-react yung mga women's group, okay. uh, uh, especially the uh, uh, National Commission on oh, Women. Kasi they think uh, parang somehow discriminatory ito. Uh, uh, discriminatory okay. kasi uh, uh, bakit, parang... Bakit, uh, bakit sila mag-prevail? Uh, uh, parang backward nga, eh, sabi nila. Mm. It's, it's a... You are taking many steps backward mm. by passing this particular provision. Yes. When the purpose ng family code eh, is to endow them equal rights. Oo. <laughs> eh, equal nga. Pagkatapos, pag hindi sila makapag-agree, eh bakit okay. uh, automatic dun sa husband? So ano kayo ang dahilan ng, uh, ng, ng committee which drafted may, the family code? May justification naman. Okay. No, bakit? Eh, if there are matters or issues that need to be addressed, uh, and, and, and time is of the essence mm -hmm. na kailangan talagang may, may mag-decide. Mm -hmm. At kung hindi sila makapag-decide, eh, uh, may masamang bagay na mangyari. Mm -hmm. It will cause, uh, you know, um, uh, negative impact on the family, uh, things like that. The law says, in the meantime, we give it to the husband mm -hmm. as head of the family to decide on that particular issue or that mat mm -hmm. or particular matter at hand. Kung may question naman talaga at a late, later date or a later time, pwede naman pumunta sa korte para ma-rectify yan at ma-address yan. Mm -hmm. So, uh, kung may grievance talaga mm -hmm. no? at may basihan na questionin yung decision ng lalaki, ng husband o ng father, pwede naman pumunta sa korte at ma-address yan. Okay. Uh, so, temporary lang okay. naman. So, temporary. Lang. Oh, temporary. So, so uh, ito, Atty. Randell, para clear lang, ano, okay? So, in case of disagreement, okay, between husband and wife, okay, the husband's uh, uh, decision shall prevail. Ang husband dito, mga kapatid, even though wala po siyang trabaho, mm -hmm. ang nagtrabaho lamang yung wife, okay, hindi po ito inaalis sa kanya yung yes. pagiging head of the family yes. kahit na wala pa siyang trabaho okay so uh, uh, perhaps attorney Randel no uh, at least nalaman na rin ng ating mga kapatid dito uh, so ito po mga kaibigan na binibigay sa kanila merely provisional lamang ito okay mm -hmm. now attorney Randel 
Okay, uh, joint parental authority. Okay, now hmm. ngayon, wala problema kung ang husband and wife andon sila present. Yes. Yes. Okay, sa tahanan. So, walang problema na dalawa sila mag-exercise ng parental authority. Right? Now, ngayon. Now, in case ang isa sa kanila ay nasa labas mm -hmm. or in case ang isa sa kanila ay namatay na, okay? Mm -hmm. Ano, sino ang mag-exercise ng parental authority? Okay. So, sasagutin natin yan okay. uh, by reading the law okay. again. Okay. no? So, uh, Article 212 and 213 okay. of the Family Code. Okay? Ang sabi dito, in case of absence or okay. death of either parent, okay. the parent present shall continue exercising parental, parental authority. authority. Kung sino yung present. Okay. Okay? Now, kung namatay yung isang parent at may remarriage okay. on the part of the surviving uh, parent, parental authority over the children dapat dun pa rin sa surviving na parent. parent. Okay. okay. Unless of course, sasabihin ng korte eh hindi na to karapat dapat, dapat dito sa guardian or dun sa bagong uh, uh, parent o okay. in law. Uh, 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 step parent rather. Uh -huh. okay. So, iyan sa 2213, Article 213. Ito naman yung uh, nagsasabi dito in case of separation of parents. Okay, separation. Uh, Nag-separate yung parents. Saan ba ang uh, parental authority? Okay. Uh, may legal separation. Ang susundin kung saan ibigay ng korte. Okay. Uh, kasi it presupposes that there is a judicial proceeding kasi legal uh, separation. Okay. The court, ito yung provision dito, uh, very important. The court shall take into account the relevant considerations, especially the choice of the child okay. over seven years of age unless the parent chosen is unfit. So, uh, the default is dapat yung bata under seven years old mapunta sa nanay. Okay? Yung parental authority nasa uh, nanay talaga. Okay. Of, uh, over a child under seven years old. Pag over seven years old, consider ng korte kung saan siya. Okay. Okay? Yung choice niya. Now, uh, Ito yung importante, Attorney June, and I think you can expound on this more, no? Yung sa Article 213, ang sabi, sabi dito, No child under seven years of age shall be separated from the mother unless the court finds compelling reasons to order otherwise. Okay. Kasi may mga compelling reasons na matanggal yung bata from the custody ng mother, uh, a child less than seven years old, okay. no? Now, may mga necessities kasi mga kaibigan, ang mother lang muna makapagbigay, mm -hmm. no? hindi yung father. Okay, yes. like for instance, uh, yung pagpadede sa anak, kuminsan mm -hmm. ay uh, aga, uh, mga five years old, six years old, uh, uh, pinapadede pa rin yan ng mga parents mm -hmm. natin. And uh, that particular uh, benefit, I should say, cannot be given by the father. Mm -hmm. Kaya nga, uh, nagtakda ang ating batas na kung ang anak is less than 7 years of age, andun siya sa pangangalaga ng kanyang mm. mother. Mm -hmm. okay? Except for compelling reasons. Ano po ito ang compelling reasons? Masasabi ba natin na kung ang mother ay isang prostitute? Mm -hmm. okay? Ito ba ay compelling reason? Okay? Ang sabi mga kapatid ng batas, ang uh, the mother's being a prostitute is not a ground okay? para mahiwalay. Okay? Yes ang parental authority niya dito sa anak niya. Okay? Ito mga kapatid ang mga compelling reasons under sa batas. Okay? Kung ang mother okay, palagi niya inuutusan if she is urging the child okay, to peddle in the streets na kung saan dangerous mm -hmm. ang life ng, ng bata. Nilalagay, okay? nilalagay sa pangalan. Pwede ba? ito ah. kuhanin sa kanya. Okay. Even less than 7 years of age. Mm -hmm. Kung ang mother naman I, ito yung be, uh, ano niya for some moral reasons mm -hmm. okay uh, moral uh, uh, reasons like for instance baka ito ay i-deliver niya sa pedophiles mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. uh, for, uh, for for considerations mga dahilan ito mga kaibigan na kung saan pwede ihiwalay ang less than 7 years of age mm -hmm. meron na rin iba mga kaibigan mga actual cases na kung saan okay uh, nini-neglect ng mother na asikasohin ang kanyang anak. Mm -hmm. Okay? 
which may result okay, in the deterrence sa kanyang development as a child. Uh, may isa din, uh, without mentioning names, mm. siguro, uh, we've heard na uh, maraming cases na naiwan sa kotse. Yeah. Yung, yung, yung mga mm. bata, no? At habang yung nanay ay somewhere else, yeah. o yung tatay, o, wala. Mm. So, eto yung mga sirkomstansya na uh, nilalagay or in-danger, nilalagay sa panganib yung mga bata. Uh, may mga mother na prostitute talaga sila. Mm. Okay? Pero alam mo, Atty. Randel, uh, the court has taken judicial notice na hindi lahat ng mga prostitute ay ganyan. Mm -hmm. uh, when in fact, ang ibang mga prostitute, uh, may mga dahilan sila bakit uh, ganyan ang kanilang mga trabaho. Mm -hmm. But uh, when it comes to the care sa bahay, magaling sila okay there were some instances which forced them okay magtrabaho sa mga brothels okay? sa mga bars okay? may may nabasa din ako attorney June na sabi ng Korte Suprema if yung mother eh, may uh, ibang lalaki ano okay. may ibang lalaki at the mother is openly mm -hmm. cohabiting mm -hmm. with uh, that individual yung ibang lalaki mm -hmm. Tapos dinala niya yung kanyang uh, musmus na ano, seven, uh, less than seven years old. Sabi ng Korte Suprema, it will not create a, an atmosphere conducive for the moral development yes, yes, of the yes, child. Yes. So, pwedeng i-consider din yan na Ground, compelling reason. Compelling reason no? Kasi okay lang kung hindi naman nakikita ng, ng bata, uh, we consider, a lot of people will consider the mother as an immoral individual, uh, not upright by standards mm -hmm. ng, yeah. ng sosyedad. Pero pag openly cohabiting, kasama yung, uh, kasama yung bata. Mm -hmm. Sabi ng Korte Suprema, hindi conducive yan. Uh, yes, uh, hindi conducive yan. Uh, malilito yung bata. Mm -hmm. At an early age, hindi niya alam kung ano yung eh, when when that kid will grow up eh, yes, we, okay. can, we can okay. see what will happen really okay yeah. so na discuss natin kanina mga kaibigan okay in the absence of uh, one parent the, the the present parent can exercise parental authority uh, in case of death okay uh, the present spouse can exercise authority okay kung kung hindi sila available dalawa ang tao appointed by the you know, by the court okay at dito naman mga kapatid ay uh, uh, in some other cases uh, kung wala naman talaga ang ano ang uh, asawa at saka yung, yung yung lalaki at saka yung babae uh, ang mga grandparents can exercise substitute yes. parental authority naman doon okay it may either be the parents ng babae or ito ay magiging parents naman ng lalaki depende naman kung sino ang sa akala ng korte makapagbigay ng magandang okay uh, influence yes. makapag-care okay sa mga minor children okay. uh, attorney June uh, ma may ano ko lang no ma, ma discuss lang natin ng uh, saglit yung article 215 okay. no ng article 215 ng family code again okay. uh, ang sinasabi naman dito no descendant okay Okay, no descendant, meaning walang mga anak okay. na dapat makumpel in a criminal case okay. to testify against his parents okay. and grandparents except when such testimony is indispensable in a crime against the descendant okay. or by one parent against the other. So, yes. uh, I think, uh, nangyayari din to. Yes. Uh, kasi pag sinabi natin, oh, yung anak dapat hindi mangingi alam mm -hmm. o dapat hindi kasama dito or dapat yung anak okay. mag-testify. Ito uh, yung sasagot. Okay. At can you expound on this, Attorney Well, okay. Uh, ilagay lang natin mga kaibigan na ang parent, no? ang lalaki, shall we say, okay, sinaktan ang anak. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, nagkaroon ng case ngayon, okay, uh, physical violence, violations ng Republic Act 9262, uh, an act... Uh, against violence violence against women and children okay now ngayon kung hindi ito ma-convict okay the convictions rather of the parent okay is dependent upon the testimony ng anak nito okay. indispensable po yan so okay. pwedeng okay pero okay kung ang anak ito attorney Randall hindi magano magte-testify okay mm -hmm. we cannot compel oh, yes. uh, the, the child no? pero dito mga kapatid ay uh, ang particular na, na case na ito applies lang ito kung ano compulsory. compulsory pero kung ito mga kapatid ay voluntary on the part of the children okay papayagan o, papayagan okay papayagan, papayagan rin at siya. hindi rin pwedeng sabihin ng parent mm -hmm. 
hindi ka pwede. Okay. Huh? And mag-apply lang ito, Atty. Randel, kung ang, 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 ang victim dito ay ang anak yes. okay? or ang asawa okay? ng ang, ang, ang asawa, mm -hmm. the, the other spouse. Yes. No? Okay? Mm -hmm. So, pwede makapag-testify ito. Okay. Now, ngayon, Uh, Ator ni Randel, uh, maganda pa sana ang ating pag-uusap mm -hmm. dito, Ator ni Randel. Da da dapat rin ta sana ma malaman ito. Eh, no? uh, dahil, Ator ni Randel, uh, wala na tayong time. Okay? Uh, we'll just uh, uh, make a summary, Ator ni Randel, ng, ano, ng ating uh, parental authority. Okay? Now, again, mga kaibigan, okay, ang parental authority, kaakibat nito ng authority is responsibility. Yes. And the, 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 the parental as well as Uh, parental authority and responsibility shall be exercised jointly by the husband mm -hmm. and the wife, okay? Mm -hmm. Except in some other cases, in case of adoption, in case of uh, uh, voluntary commitment, and also in case of guardianship, yes. okay? So, ito ay hindi marinounce, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, unless and until these three mm -hmm. uh, exceptions are, are present, okay? Mm -hmm. At dito, at ni Randel, sa ating mga kaibigan, magkikita natin dito, Biblical po ito ang ang sinasabi dito sa batas. Napaka-biblical. Okay. At uh, when in fact, mga kaibigan, uh, uh, may babasahin ako ito, biblical verse again, mga kaibigan, in support dito sa sa harmony no? ng, 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 ng isang home. Andun yung mama, andun ang papa, andun ang anak. Okay? Dito po, mga kaibigan, ay makikita po natin sa Colossians chapter 3. Verses 18 to 25. Ito po mo sinasabi, mga kaibigan. Okay? Wives, submit yourselves to your husbands mm -hmm. as is fitting in the Lord. Yes. Okay? And husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. Okay? So, sa mga sa husbands do, okay? Sa children naman. Mm -hmm. Again, children, obey your parents in everything for this pleases the Lord. And fathers, do not embitter your children for they will become discouraged. Okay? So, if these biblical injunctions given by Paul to the Colossians, okay, is followed to the letter, I do believe, Attorney Randall, that the home will be a place of understanding and uh, uh, isang home na kung saan ito, Randall, maiwasan ang yes. gulo, domestic violence. Okay? So, Attorney Randel, can you please pray? Yes. yes Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to serve you. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for reminding us that as parents, we need to cultivate an atmosphere where yes. Jesus will always be seen in our lives, in the family, wherever we are. We also pray, Heavenly Father, that as children, you will guide us to and remind us to respect our parents and to give the utmost uh, uh, reverence uh, as you have uh, uh, reminded us uh, this afternoon. Sure. We pray, Heavenly Father, that uh, as we continue serving you, may you uh, guide us, and may you uh, bless us, especially our friends who are watching this program they may be going through sure. some problems, some difficulties, sure. uh, uh, financial uh, uh, considerations that they need to address. Sure. Heavenly Father, bless them, Amen. visit them, uh, especially if they are sick also. Amen. All these things we ask in the loving name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. So, ulit mga kapatid, kami po ay nagpapasalamat sa inyo, sa inyong walang sawang panunood ng programang ito, the Chemistry of Law and Life, at inyo pong lingkod, Dr. Jun Sumagaysay. Ako naman po si Dr. Randall T. At dito lamang po sa The Chemistry of Law, Love and Life.